Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and as you can see from the title, today we're taking a look at some new MAC lipsticks. Well, when I say new, they're kind of new and kind of not. MAC have taken some of their old original formulas, particularly from their matte and their satin collections and they have reformulated them and have apparently made them into a more moisturising, nourishing formula, one that would be far more comfortable on the lips and these lipsticks are all matte. So alongside reformulating some of their best known and loved matte shades, they have actually brought out some new shades. So in today's video, we are going to be comparing some of the old formulas with the new and I'm going to be doing that with two very popular shades. One, is my ride or die, which is Velvet Teddy. And we're going to be comparing the old Velvet Teddy with the new Velvet Teddy. And the second one is Ruby Woo. I wanted to do Ruby Woo because I know that it is such a holy grail for so many people. So let's compare the old Velvet Teddy and old Ruby Woo with the new Velvet Teddy and the new Ruby Woo. And then I'm gonna be showing you some brand new shades that I picked up, including a Warm Teddy, Go Retro, and Twig Twist. Before we get into it, just to let you know that I do post videos like this every week and I would absolutely love it if you consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's get into some MAC lipsticks. Now I'll be honest with you, when I heard that MAC were reformulating their lipsticks, I freaked out. If you've been here before, you'll know that I have a very special place in my heart for MAC lipsticks and I definitely freaked out at the thought of my favourite shades disappearing or changing in some way. So as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to have a look and compare Velvet Teddy and Ruby Woo, the old shades, the original formulas with the new ones. Now, I'm not going to be doing a wear test because I've been wearing these, I've been wearing these for the last few weeks and I wanted to get a feel for them and just see how I felt about them and what I felt with the similarities and differences so that I could actually give you a really informed opinion and not just a first impression. So I think we will kick off with my love, Velvet Teddy. So Velvet Teddy is described as a deep tone beige and I always have a Velvet Teddy in my collection. Here they are side by side. If you can't tell already, here we have the old bullet and here is the new and as you can see the new bullet is considerably bigger it's taller even when you pick these two bullets up this one is a lot more weighty and i've seen people state that there is um, actually a weight embedded in this which makes it feel a lot more kind of substantial and luxurious and if you compare the bullets you'll see that the old bullet is more shiny and the new bullet is more matte. And lastly, in relation to the packaging, so with the old bullet, you have the MAC embossed here, but on the new bullet, it has it on the silver, which wraps around the bullet. Simply based on just the packaging, I do prefer the old bullet. Um, that's just because I'm a creature of habit. I don't always like change. And this for me, it's just a little bit more compact, a little bit more neat when I'm taking it with me in my handbag. I definitely notice that this takes up more room. And I know that probably sounds ridiculous, but I definitely do notice the difference between the two. And that's not saying that I don't have lipsticks of this size, because I obviously do. But I'm just used to my MAC lipsticks being really tiny and little and compact and fits anywhere. So I would say that I do prefer the old bullet. Now in terms of how much product you get, there is three grams of product in the original and 3.5 in the new. And I guess this is reflected in the price. So in terms of the price, the new Maximal lipstick is now 25 pounds or $25. Hands up if you remember when MAC lipsticks were 14 pounds. <laughs> 14 pounds. I know, I'm showing my age now. But let's open these up and have a look at the actual product. So these have been used, so they don't look, you know, spanking new anymore. But it, as you can see with the new bullet, it has this amazing embossing on the actual lipstick, um, which says MAC. The new formula seems to have some kind of coating around it, which makes it look a little bit more matte, which I think is quite clever actually. And before anybody worries, they still smell like MAC lipsticks. They still have that vanilla, 
fragrance that everybody recognizes and most people love right everybody can identify a mac lipstick thank goodness mac thank goodness you didn't take away our beloved fragrance <laughs> i know that some people would will want to see a half and half on either side but actually i think instead i'm going to just do footage of me with the old formula and then the new formula side by side let me apply the old original velvet teddy for you So this is the original Velvet Teddy. Next up, we have the new Maximal Velvet Teddy. And this is the new Velvet Teddy. I will be including swatches of every single lipstick that I try today and I will include photographs with and without a flash within this video but I will just show you them um, on my hand now the old velvet teddy and the new just because I have some thoughts on them so on this side we have the old velvet teddy and here we have the new when I first started to use them I actually did think that there was a difference between the colour. So to me, the original Velvet Teddy seems to have more of a prominent brown undertone, whereas I feel that the new one runs slightly more pink. The original formula is definitely more opaque. What I will say about the new formula is it does lack that opacity. I had to work harder to get the coverage that I'm used to with the old formula. Hi guys, it's actually the day after filming and I'm just jumping on here because I'm actually in the process of editing the footage and I was actually really surprised when I looked at the footage of me applying Velvet Teddy and I know that I have already mentioned that I do believe that there is a slight difference in the undertone, but I think it is actually really apparent when you look at the side-by-sides that the old Velvet Teddy is definitely more of a brown undertone and the newer one, the newer Velvet Teddy, is definitely running a little bit more pink. I didn't really think it was that obvious until I saw myself in the footage and I saw the film. I film with a mixture of lighting and natural daylight and sometimes I really think that works against me as you will see in the original footage. The lighting especially behind me can go from light to dark and although I do my best to colour grade and to edit I'm not the best but I just think the best thing I can do for you to get a feel of the slight difference between the old and the new Velvet Teddy is to include lip swatches a photograph of each taken in natural daylight. And don't forget, I will include arm swatches of all of the shades too, and I'll leave a timestamp for that here. So I will include the photographs of the old and new Velvet Teddy for you now. In terms of whether I am happy with the reformulation, um, you know what, it's tricky for me. This is just in relation to Velvet Teddy. I feel like the old formula, the old Velvet Teddy, the original, is much more creamy, which was kind of surprising because when you read a description of the new reformulation, it says that it's more creamy formula. I don't fully agree that it's a more creamy formula. The beauty of the new formula 
is that you can build up the level of coverage that you want. Feel like you can go for a more sheer look with the lipstick or you can build it up. You can build up that coverage if that's what you want. And in relation to how long it lasts, look, MAC lipsticks are great and they last, but they last up until you have a good meal, <laughs> really, and then they will fade. I've literally noticed no difference really between the two. I don't think the new formula lasts better than the old formula. I think they're both just the same really. Okay, let's move on to Ruby Woo. So here's the old Ruby Woo and the new, and there is no difference in the color. When I heard that Ruby Woo was going to be included in the reformulation, I was kind of happy because Ruby Woo I've struggled with because Ruby Woo is part of the super matte collection, the original formula, which means it's really, really matte. And sometimes I would find it dragging across the lips and, and it can be a little bit tricky to apply for that reason. So when I heard they were reformulating it to a, to a more creamy, Matt, I was excited. I was really excited. So let me apply them. Then I will compare the footage side by side so that you can see whether you think there's any difference. So let's start with the original Ruby Woo. And Ruby Woo is described as an intense bluish red. So original Ruby Woo. Next, we have the new Ruby Woo. New Ruby Woo. So my thoughts on the new Ruby Woo, it's 10 times better, honestly. I know that some people love the super matte old original formula, but for me personally, this new reformulation is head and shoulders above the old formula. I didn't experience any dragging, which I absolutely do with the original formula. And what I love about this new Ruby Woo, and as I mentioned with the old Velvet Teddy, I feel like the original is far more opaque, whereas I feel like with this Ruby Woo, you can build it up to a red that is suitable or is akin to your preference. There's no difference in the color that I can see. So if I just show you on the back of my hand, so over here is the original Ruby Woo and there is the new one. Honestly, I don't think there's a difference between the two colors. So if you've been worried, about your beloved Ruby Woo, do not. I actually think they've improved it. They've not changed the color, they've just changed the formula, and I actually think now it's a lot more user-friendly. So let's move on now to some of their new shades. Now, when I contacted MAC, I actually asked them specifically for a list of brand new shades. So I emailed them, and I spoke to them on the phone <laughs> and I got slightly different information from the two, but I'm actually going to put a list on the screen of shades that they told me were brand new, but there are shades on there that have been out in the past as part of like a special collection that they've just brought back as a, as a permanent resident uh, with a slightly different name. And there's also a list on the screen which states the satin lipsticks which have been turned into 
matte lipsticks. I'm just gonna let some footage run now of me applying each of the new shades that I picked up. So this is Twig Twist, which is described as a soft, muted brownish pink. Twig Twist. Next, we have Mullet to the Max, which is described as a dirty peach. So this is Mullet to the Max. Next, we have Go Retro, which is described as a muted peachy pinky brown. Go Retro. And lastly, we have Warm Teddy, which is described as a dirty, warm nude. Warm Teddy. I think I actually had uh, lipstick on my head for part of that. So sorry if I did. So my opinion on these new reformulations, do you know what? Sometimes I really hate it when brands mess around with reformulating things and changing things and discontinuing items that we absolutely love and we've loved for decades. But I think they've done a fairly decent job at this. I think that the formulas are almost the same, I would say. So in relation to Ruby Woo in particular, I think they've 100% improved the formula. I know some people won't be happy because they've changed the formula that they know and love, but I can assure you that this new Ruby Woo is much easier to use in the new matte formula as opposed to the super matte formula. It doesn't drag, it's much more creamy, it's much more user-friendly. It's such a delight to apply now, whereas previously I would struggle a little bit, especially if I didn't have a lip liner like today, but actually it was really delightful to apply. So I think Ruby Woo is such a win. In relation to Velvet Teddy, I don't think the new formula is as creamy in my opinion. I know some people will dispute that. So I'm not mad at the reformulation. I'm really not. I think it's completely fine. I think they've done a really nice job at it. Though I do find it to be a drier formula than previously, to the previous matte formula. 
I do think it's lighter on the lips and I think it, it just feels a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more barely there. <laughs> I think the new formula has a lot less opacity, which can be a pro or a con. With the old formula, you needed less product to get that level of opacity. But I think now you have more of an option to have more of a sheer coverage or more of a full coverage. It really is down to you. And in relation to the packaging, I honestly, I did prefer the old bullet, but maybe it's because it's different to what I've always known. But you know, the new one, it does feel a little bit more bougie, a little bit more luxurious. I mean, you know, the actual embossing on the lipstick itself is, is stunning. I mean, it really is an improvement on the previous lipstick. And in relation to the new shades, I really love them. I think Warm Teddy is probably my favorite. <laughs> I like Warm Teddy, you know, I like what I like. Velvet Teddy, Warm Teddy, I just love those nudes. Some gorgeous shades and so I've got a new collection to build up now, haven't I? Yes, I have, I've got many to collect. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I so appreciate you being here with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one, but until then, take care and bye for now.